Hey everybody, it's Charlie and Christopher with Daily Motor, and today we're driving the all-new 2023 Hyundai Palisade. XRT. XRT, that's what we're driving specifically today, but tomorrow we will be on the one right here, the Hyundai Palisade Calligraphy. So kind of the two coolest models of Hyundai's three-row SUV. And it is the, Bla the Batman edition, as Chris put it. Batmobile. Yeah. Very much uh, black Batmobile. badge, black grill, black wheels. Black paint also. Black paint, that yeah. black crossbars. Black interior. Black interior. Yeah. Black on black on black. Murdered, Murdered out. out. We haven't driven it yet, but I've always been a big fan of the Palisade. And obviously it's causing the Telluride. It's probably impossible to do a Palisade review without mentioning the Telluride as well. Yeah. Some new interior bits in here. We have a new steering wheel that looks quite a bit like all of the other new Hyundais. I, I am a fan of that steering wheel. Yep. Reading um, the, the Well, we'll the go through sheet. this while we're, while we're in the car, but there are new things that we can report to you but what's most important is just what this thing is like to drive because that's what you all come to daily motor for yes oh also yes crossbars big crossbars mm -hmm. chonker ones yeah come in standard oh chris good news yep new fonts oh wow look they look like a digital like alarm clock font. yeah i don't know how i feel about that it's kind of the wrong direction if you ask me why would you want it to look more basic? But we'll see how I feel future. about it. Huge, huge Hyundai badge, and the last Palisade had a large Hyundai badge as well, larger than other Hyundais. Is that a feature? Probably to let you know that this is the biggest Hyundai. <laughs> the bigger, the bigger the car, the proportionally larger. The bigger the badge. badge, right? And every new Hyundai Palisade comes standard with two cans of pre-warmed liquid death to murder your thirst. That's Shout right. out Bert Kreischer. Are you gonna try it? Yeah, I'm gonna crack a cold one. A little roadie here. A little ASMR moment. Uh huh. I mean, those listeners of the podcast love hearing us <laughs> sip and crack open into. <laughs> oh, Chris, big, big, big fail right off the bat. <gasps> no. How much is this car? You think there's a Monroni in it? I think there probably is. I'm gonna check the... Trying out the wireless charger, which works. Very okay, nice. good. Not seeing a Monroni. I am seeing a. We could owner's manual. Literally drive over here and ask the the Hyundai. No, PR that's folk. that's a lot of work. We have to drive out that way anyway. Okay. How much is this car? That's exactly what I was going to ask. Her. I, I I'm a big fan of this shifter. They may not have pricing yet. Of course it does. All right, uh, moment of truth. Is it over fifty thousand dollars? Not even close. Not even close to over. It is. <clears throat> Forty-three thousand six hundred and sixty. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm impressed. Okay. okay. Forty-three six sixty. Forty-three six sixty. The only option is floor mats. I would have guessed more. Yeah, I would have guessed more too. So actually, pretty surprisingly lowish price. They probably don't want me filming this. What is that? I don't know. No, oh, you just filmed the interior. You're still filming it. Looks like a. Uh, that a, just a G90 right there, isn't it? Or maybe a G80. More impressively. Ooh, what is that tan? That is phenomenal. Look at the tan. What? Nobody cares about the motorcycle. Look I in front care of about you. the motorcycle. That's a ZX14. Look at the color on that. That actually is. I've seen that car. That's I've seen that car. Amazing. I took a photo of it and tried to send it to you, but the lighting was off, so you couldn't tell how cool <laughs> the color was. Yeah. Ooh, and a 300 ZX right there. Do I get out? I get out this Maybe way. Right? Left. That is the best new color in existence. Yeah. They could no. literally just call it sand, and I'd be okay with or that. Or hearing aid. <laughs> they could call it hearing aid. <laughs> Um, okay, so 3.8 liter V6, 8-speed automatic, and all-wheel drive. We've got XRT, I think you already went over this, didn't you? Exclusive wheels, black side rails for the roof, spare tire. We have a spare tire in this car. Oh, that's good. It's good. That's where they hit the Monroni. That is where they hit the Monroni. That looks like a different sort of uh, Tucson as well. It's an XRT probably. Yeah. They're really hammered down on this whole XRT thing. You drank that whole thing already the way it was like moving around. Okay. Would you like to guess what they've called the exterior color on this car? Midnight black. Abyss black. Abyss. Into the abyss black. Wow. Yes. Dramatic. Mm -hmm. This new gauge cluster actually is pretty cool. I'm not digging I the dig font. It. No, I but do. I, I, I like stuff like that. I wonder if it's in a minimalist mode right now because what's the point of the things on the outside? Just decoration? Yeah, it's like a steampunk vibe, like okay. very much like. Millennial being like, I used to have an alarm clock that looked like that. I mean, millennials this car, are old now. This course. car really is going toward millennials, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Well, so you basically. Yes, I'm a young millennial though. 
so I can still at, communicate with you. You're at the tail end. Call. Sometimes you can't communicate. I know. There, there, Most there, of the time you can't. Sometimes it's lost in translation. Yeah. That that TikTok you sent me was pretty good. If I do that. <laughs> <laughs> that cracked me up. Yeah. Um, okay. Let's see. We've got one uh, percent U.S. parts content, eighty-five percent Korean parts content. This is officially the longest we've ever spent on a window sticker in a Daily Motor video. Yeah, it is. Well, you know what? Here's the difference, okay? This is an actual window sticker, and I like the way it feels. It is. Hands. It is large. This is a real window sticker. Well, when you're done with that, you can transition over to the new oh. features of the 2000. Yeah, we'll take a look at this. Too. And uh, Hyundai, right. I appreciate me Standard staring with my knee while I feel the liquid death. <laughs> to be fair, they did give you the liquid death. Yeah. It's and you're, and you have your to drink fault, it. Michelle. <laughs> um, okay, let's hold it like this. It's pretty quiet in here. Got heated third row seats. That's something that you now see I would a lot. trade heated third row seats for front row ventilated, but whatever. Well, Charlie, remember this is a forty-three thousand dollar SUV. It's really quite well priced. Uh, new instrument panel. Oh, which interestingly enough, in this picture shows the white face gauges that we don't like so much. Good. Well, maybe they watched our review that we haven't published yet that and we they shot yesterday. Immediately changed. And they immediately changed the gauges. The gauges. Yeah. They Michelle. Should. Michelle just has a microphone in all of the Hyundai's, and she listens she to our thoughts. Yeah. Uh, now you liked the Kona N so much that really, if uh, fifteen years down the road, Chris, this would be the proper. Uh, larger utility vehicle for your household. Maybe, That's right. Maybe, maybe future Emily would drive this, and then you would be dailing the Kona N. Yeah. 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 She could haul the dogs around in this or mm -hmm. something. And it has a new tow mode, so if you wanted to tow jet skis or something like that, you could do that. I do like jet skis. Take them up to Matthew's lake house. Yeah. So I'm not really seeing anything in here that I really feel like is worth mentioning. Okay. Then the motor top tip. Uh, the only thing that matters is the new gauge cluster and the new grill. Yes, I, I like the cluster and the, the steering wheel too. I do like the yeah. steering wheel too. I really like this design because look at, look at where I'm naturally resting my hand. Yes. It's, it's right here at, what would, you, would this be, about 530? Yeah. And I like that the hand can rest right here, kind of just keep, keep track of things. But if you're not into steering, you can simply do that and the car will take care of it for you. It's very good. Yeah. I think instead of cutting your burps out, you should start bleeping them. <laughs> People will just think it's Beep. a lot of profanity. Yeah, right. Look at this. Look at how excellent. Oh, it wants me to keep my hands on the wheel, but a little, a little just give, a little, give her a little nudge. This, even the dart can't stay within the lines as well as this Hyundai can. Yeah. What is? Hey, oh, what is just dangling kidding. off of it that dart? Giving up. Something's like dangling. It's like a. It's their dignity. I think it's like a, a wig, like part of somebody's wig. <laughs> Seriously. I believe. It. Okay. Well, let's retire me holding these. Yeah. Put them in the back. Done listening to me rustling the paper. Yeah, sorry. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of audio of me rustling papers. So we'll be spending the next few hours in this car, and we'll catch up with you guys when there's anything interesting or by the end of the trip. It's a very Volkswagen style cup holder. Those things are aggressive too. If you had your fingers in the way, they'll chop them right off. Oh yeah, I don't even want to test it out actually. Yeah, Probably only got ten to spare. Yeah. And we'll we'll let you know if there's a way to change the font and the gauges. Maybe this is an XRT specific gauge cluster. It could be, yeah. yeah. That would be something cool for them to throw in, you know, since mm -hmm. a lot of times with these off-road trims, you don't actually get anything off-roady. It's just right. you look, you get like a more rugged look. So you get the crossbars, you get the different cladding with the little grooves in it, and you get different wheels, but it has no extra ground clearance. I don't no. think it has any different drive mode. We can lock the center diff though. I don't know if you Yeah, can you've do always that. been able to do that in can Palisades. Do that? I don't know why. Okay. Yeah. So I guess if you're going to your campsite and you want to lock the center diff, then you you're go. able to do that. But. Daily Motor top tip, if you're cross shopping this and a Honda Passport, you probably get the Passport. The Passport Trail Sport actually gives you all Like true off-roading. Well, I don't think they're all terrain. I think they're like touring terrain or sport they're terrain. They're probably all terrain. It's probably similar to like how the Maverick has all terrain tires. Yeah, it's, it's like tires like that. They're like, yeah, they call them, they call them like, they don't call them all terrain. That's something else Many terrain. terrains. Yeah. It comes with that. Most terrain tires. But what you don't get in the Passport is a third row seat. You're right. Yeah. So Daily Motor top tip, if you're thinking of getting this or a Honda Passport Trail Sport. You have more than you two have children. More than two children. Uh, lose those other children and pair down to two. Oh. That's our recommendation. Interesting. Okay. Yep. All right. Drive on. <laughs> End of day one. Driving the Palisade XRT. Decent car. XRT, just like SRT. Right. That actually. It means the same thing. <laughs> Cross-road no, track. Cross-road track. It's been a 
comfortable ride. Mm -hmm. Minimal complaints, really, other than that this particular one needs an alignment. Yes, but that's not yeah. Hyundai's fault. Well, it is Hyundai's fault, but not the engineers. Okay, now I'm seeing Hyundai's. Ooh, it's a, is that a, oh, it's just a normal Kona? No, it's an electric Kona. Oh, uh, yeah, it's quite blue. Okay. Day two of driving the Palisade, and today we have the calligraphy model. So this one's about $10,000 more expensive than the XRT that we drove down here with, but this one has more features, looks a little bit more classy, has a beautiful dark, dark blue paint. On this one, there's also an emerald green that you can only get in the calligraphy. I'm quite a fan of that one as well. This one has all your bells and whistles, including features such as a power folding third row. Right now you can see Christopher and I have the back loaded up with stuff, including a grand trunk. Did you ever figure out what this is? No, but I folded mine up in my backpack. Fair enough. But because we have a little bit of extra stuff, I was simply able to fold the third row down with power. But you can see if a kid needed to ride in here, or even an adult, we actually rode uh, six adults deep in one of these last night to dinner, and there was room in the third row for everyone with that seat pushed all the way back. So you can see that comes up nicely. It's very easy to do. The second row is manual, even in the calligraphy model, but not too hard to put up. You can see also a lot of people have touched the headliner. Yes, it's micro suede, and it's one of those, kind of like those pillows where you can sort of create little faces or penises or something, depending on how you sure. move your move your finger in. I didn't ask Chris to throw on his microphone for this because this is a simple little intro, so you're not going to be able to hear him much. Fortunately, we don't really care what he has to say right now, so that's okay. Getting into the second row, you can see these seats are very easy to kind of slide forward, get in the out of the back, and then you know, you know, very easy to slide in and out of, you know, and then you get in. Lots of room, and we're greeted with this beautiful lighter color interior on this calligraphy model. We'll see more when I get up front, but even into the back, a little bit of dark accents here and there to kind of break it up dark bottom obviously and I actually think this is smart for them to keep the carpet black because then all the Cheerios and fruit snack stains won't show as clearly but very comfortable place to be a lot of recline in the second and third row seats heated and ventilated second row seats heated seats in the third row a little bit of a panoramic sunroof action I mean this this is a lot of bang for your buck that's what Hyundai does well We pointed out when we were riding in the back seat of one of these last night that it's good that you can only control this from the front because then the kids can't control it. Right. One touch, opens and closes. Quite a comfortable place to be back here for both a large individual such as myself or littler people. Such as children. Or midgets. Chris cringes at that because he's a Gen Z and that, that word is off limits for them. <laughs> Now that we are up into the front, you can see more of the calligraphy decorations, this fake wood looking deal here, kind of cool material here, a lot of the attributes that we appreciated from the XRT model, but this one has ergo motion massaging seats, so that's Have exciting. Have you tried that yet? I haven't. We nope. should try it. We're going to try it as we drive back to Michigan from Ohio, and I got to say, this is a Palisade review, not an Ohio review, but this small section of Ohio that we've been in, Catawba Kata Island, that isn't really an island, it's a peninsula. It's a peninsula. A lot of beautiful wineries here. We are at, uh, do you remember the name of this place? Gideon, that's the, that's the music that's artist. That's the musician, Gideon. Gideon Winery, or whatever this is, is really pretty inside and outside. A lot of new establishments too. The place we ate last night and only been around for a few months and had bees and We should start pears. doing real estate reviews. Yeah, you what know, you that think? probably do quite well. I think mm -hmm. we're just as well versed in that yeah, as we are. In, yeah. yeah, in cars. Mm -hmm. But back to the Palisade. Chris and I are going to spend the next two hours driving home and seeing if there's any reason to step up for an extra $10,000 to this calligraphy model, which I'm inclined to say no for most people. Most of the features when we were hearing about them this morning are kind of just gimmicky sort of things. Multi-contour steering wheel, though. Yes. It's a very beautiful steering wheel. It is a very nice steering wheel. And it's dark in the most of the spots that matter. Of course, you'll get some dirt around this area as you can see there's already some dirt and this mm -hmm. car has probably a thousand miles on it maybe. Yeah, oh, exactly a thousand, a thousand, a thousand and two wow so um but i don't know it's it's a very nice light feel in this in the cabin of the calligraphy it really is oh and there's the emerald green one that i talked about but before we end this section of video i wanted to point something out to you that i saw chris 
what? Take a look. We're gonna let this handicapped journey oh, go by. Oh boy! Is at, it is at, this what you're at the U-Haul Patrol <laughs> Hellcat? What does that even mean? U-Haul Patrol. Is this the owner? Let's ask her. Is she getting into it? Or is she she's just? Not. She's much too distinguished. She's turned off by it. Pursuit seven. Oh, hold on. I want to get photos of this because I want to know why that's the way that it is. I don't understand any. It's got a hitch. Christopher, it has a hitch on it. Yeah. I don't what under. Is... What? Do they own a U-Haul or something? Like, do they own a U-Haul? Store? Do they own U-Haul? Totally. Yeah. It's a drop hitch. Well, it has to be to get up to the proper height. Super. Well, yeah. Of course, it's super. Of course it's, oh, it's full of junk. Sorry, I'm just gonna. That's a lot going. Yeah, you need to get a photo of that. Well, I'm gonna put it on my Instagram story and ask people what it is. I think it's just degeneracy. Hmm. I think someone should go through and make a compilation of all the times that Charlie has used the word degen or degeneracy or degenerate. It's my word of the word of the season. I it's think it's word of the year, actually. Yeah. Last year it was on brand. This year it's mm. this year it's it's degen. It's degen. Yep. Okay. Well, Chris and I are going to continue to argue the merits and model name structures as Waze literally spins around multiple times and well, then gets confused. This is not Waze. This is your oh. That would be it. Okay. Goodbye, folks. <clears throat> Go ahead. We have made it to our final destination with the Hyundai Palisade, the 2023 model year refresh here. And we kind of forgot to film the end of the driving portion. We got carried away, but I think that is a good uh, allegory to how the Palisade is to drive on the highway because I was able to very much just settle in the, the yep. what is it called? Highway Lane Assist 2. Yes. Um, uh, navigated through corners. I could barely had to keep my hands on the wheel. The massaging seat was keeping me invigorated, although Alert. you didn't get one. Giving you yeah, yeah, not a lot of controls on the passenger side, uh, or seat functions, I should say, because mm -hmm. I didn't have the active bolsters, no massage, but I found that to be a trend with some of the Korean cars is that they only give you function on the driver side. Yeah, and I think that kind of speaks to what we've talked about before, where we've been noticing with a little bit of the Korean cars that it's a little bit more of the show, but once you start to spend a little more time, the veneer wears off and you kind of realize little things like that, little subtleties yeah. that you're like, oh, that's, they, they're trying to just have something good on paper. Right. And don't get me wrong. I mean, for the driver, it worked well, but I would like Alyssa's butt to be able to be massaged too and, and Chris's as well. Yep. yep. Um, but this one was very quiet and comfortable, the calligraphy trim and XRT was also very nice to drive. I yep. think when I was looking at their trim structure, I think the SEL Limited or SEL Premium, maybe it was called, is actually the way to go mm -hmm. because you get a lot of the features you need and any of the stuff on the Limited model or the or the calligraphy are kind of just frou-frou. Right. Yeah. The I only agree. thing I could see wanting the calligraphy for is the rear view mirror camera. If you got a lot of kids in the back, that could be useful. Yeah, can you get um, like the white interior or anything with the calligraphy? You only get the Napa leather on the calligraphy, so I think that yeah, I, yeah, I don't like know. There's like a beige, but this it. really nice bright white quilted leather in this car, yeah, which I think you showed earlier. Um, yep. Is the other, nice. the other kind of lasting thing I'll take from the Palisade, and I think you all should take as well, is it's it's tough to stand out in this segment, and I think the Palisade does that. I think it, you you look at this and it's it's got a presence. It's got some uniqueness and i mean geez you look at a new ford explorer or a highlander or anything it's like oh that's just another one yeah or a traverse or a traverse geez yeah whereas this is at least like oh this is kind of different this has some strong yeah. styling uh, it's very well priced a lot of the good safety features i i wouldn't say no to one being in my driveway yeah but if you do really enjoy driving you ought to check out a mazda cx9 instead and don't be fooled, just because this has a lot of luxury features doesn't make it a luxury car. The MDX is still going to feel nicer, although this is bigger. Mm -hmm. So thank you all so much for watching. We had a good time driving both trims of the Palisade. If you want to see more on the Palisade, check the links in the description. We've got some coverage on this one, as well as our older ones that we've driven. Mm -hmm. Thanks to Chris for coming along. And we're Charlie and Chris from Daily Motor, and as always, Palisade on. Thank mm -hmm. you.